Hello, my name is Dennis Godfrey. Welcome to Quack This Way. Today I am doing a live stream and I just want to cover uh, my new setup. I have OBS on a computer. I have two cameras. An EOS R is my primary. I have that HDMI into my computer. I got a secondary, an SL2, Canon SL2 on 24mm over here. That's an EFS camera. I have that one coming in as the USB, which means it's lower um, quality but it does work and allows me to use two cameras. I have a Deity D3 Mic Pro above me, which is funny because you can see it in my other camera view. I have set up automatic switching, or not automatic switching, some short keys for my OBS using one, two, three, four, um, which would allow me to switch from between my one and my two camera. I have a cheap LED green light behind me. I have a red um, filter on the cheap LED light that is actually designed for garages. Um, and I put an LED cover on it, but it is too bright. So I'm going to have to figure out, because see, you can't even tell it's red because it's blown out. Um, so I'm going to have to do something with that. This is my new setup. Um, I did this because I want to be able to switch automatically. I want to be able to switch to um, each camera. Um, but I got to learn how to look at the camera, switch, and then come back to this camera. I'm checking this because I don't know if the audio delay is set up properly. I think this mic works good. Set up a noise gate and I also set up a compressor. So hopefully I won't get too loud and it won't go peak. You know what I mean? But it also boosts everything to, to be about the same um, level. And that way if I get a little bit quiet or loud, it cuts away. My air conditioner, of course, runs. I got a dog behind me um, that might whine. And that noise gate hopefully will be helping that situation out because it turns off if it gets too quiet. So hopefully you won't be able to hear. I guess you'll be able to hear the AC when I'm talking, but when I stop talking, you won't be able to hear it. Aha, my dog is just too short to be seen. Get your head up there. Woo! Almost, almost. I think this looks pretty good. Um, I guess it'd be nice if I had some things on the wall back there. Um, I do have a backlight, which I think adds uh, a great level. Um, I have it on white, so you can see on my shoulder here. Um, that backlight come in here that does help you stand out from the background very wise decision learning all of this from a man ruslan uh, i've been following him spreading the gospel he's doing a great job and i took his course um, and i watched that course and it kind of shows you how to do live streaming and then take those live stream and edit it down within the youtube um, editor and then pull out the content to do video so he makes about three videos a day he does a live stream and then he prepares for that live stream, right, with information he wants to cover. Um, his kind of uh, technique is to take current events of the day and then relate to them, bring them to the Word of God, bring them uh, into topics that he is familiar with and discuss them um, because that's a great search mechanism, right? You have things going on, you can search, people uh, search it and want to look at it. So if it's relevant, you're going to be able to pull up in the ag algorithm because nobody's making videos for it. But boom, he's able to make a video, peel off maybe three per day. Um, he, what's interesting, he's very quantity oriented. So he's kind of like, no, don't make quality, one quality video a week. Um, he's like, make three decent, halfway decent videos a day. Uh, and he does that through doing a live stream for one hour, two hours, whatever, and then peeling those videos out with the editor and posting them. So with that way, with AdSense, as he's been able to build his community, he is then able to have enough videos and that's awesome so because with quantity people are searching they're watching it they're getting ads you know as long as your videos are um, about eight minutes um, there's possible for two ads to roll in that and that puts eyes on right gets um, his AdSense is doing pretty well I don't know if I'm gonna have much to talk about to be honest that's my concern how do I research how do I get used to talking to these cameras is my mic good enough uh, to pick up my voice at this angle that's a good question as well I might have to recenter my mic maybe here so I'm just doing techniques, uh, figuring out what I'm doing, figure out how to switch on the fly, get used to talking to the camera. And do you think I could do this for two hours? Oof. I don't know if I could do this for two hours, but I guess once you get used to it, and I quit trying to yell, because um, right now I'm kind of yelling, but I don't want to get boring. I think that's my concern. Am I going to be boring? Is what I'm talking about relevant? Um, I do think the view here looks good enough, though. I'll tell you that right now, man. I think... Um, I got, again, I have an EOS R with a 35 millimeter 1.8 uh, on here, right here. I got the EOS um, SL2 um, with a 24 millimeter 2.8. Um, I am definitely looking at selling this bad boy because I would like to sell it, um, upgrade to the SL3, um, which I think I can get a used one for about 500 bucks. And that has clean HDMI out. And if I get a clean HDMI out, I can have two HDMI cameras. And then 
get an ATEM mini switcher, and then I can use the hardware switcher instead of software switcher within OBS, because then having that hardware, one camera into OBS using the hardware switchers, it would be great. Um, Ruslan runs a two computer setup, um, which again, this isn't all from the course, right? It's all in his videos, he shares that type of stuff. Um, I watched a bunch of those videos. He uses one for heavy lifting, another one for streaming. And I, it's very interesting, because I wanna see how he uses two computers. I think he zooms on one, pulls in the content into the other one. He hasn't covered that in the course yet, so I'm interested in that. I do have two computers on my desk, um, but I got my private computer, personal, and I have a work computer, um, which I'm not using. Um, so I'm thinking um, about getting another computer, but um, I'm going to wait and see. Right now, I only have two computers anyway, or excuse me, two cameras. He's running like three uh, cameras, I believe, and then you can use that fourth port on the A10 Mini to pull in the feed from his other computer. Can't wait to learn, can't wait to practice. So that's what this is, it's just a practice version of me speaking to the camera and uh, no intentions to actually posting it. Uh, one of the things I do need is a bumper. I need a quick play, I like his. He's just like, it's his says like Ruslan, R -R -R Ruslan, which I dig, it's like retro, I don't know. He's a rapper, um, so he knows, and he's worked in the music industry, so he knows how to kind of do that type of stuff. I don't, uh, I do have a logo sting, like a short one. Um, but I would like it to be even shorter. So I'm going to work on that, figure out what I'm going to do. Um, all right. Well, this is Dennis. Thanks for stopping by Quark This Way channel. We'll see you in the live stream soon.